A 19th century fortress overlooking Paris is home to the 8th Transmissions Regiment of the French Army and one old-fashioned form of communication lives on within its walls. A troop of 120 carrier pigeons, some of which are descendants of winged war heroes gone by, represents a tribute to history, but also a last resort in case our modern tools fail. Here's a report. At this French army base, Corporal Sebastian is inspecting his troops. Pigeons and doves, whose ancestors once carried the military's most sensitive messages. Here you can read that he's French, that he was born in 2009. Some 200 carrier pigeons roost here at a historic fortress overlooking the French capital. Born and raised under the watchful eye of Sebastian and his predecessors, these birds have the unique ability to find their way back home by reading the Earth's magnetic fields, even when released hundreds of miles away. A museum at the site commemorates their historic roles in past wars, carrying valuable messages and even images. During the First World War, there was a pigeon who was kind of like a precursor of the drone. Basically, we put a camera on a pigeon that was on its return flight during the First World War. We put a camera on him, and thanks to an automatic release, the pigeon, without realizing it, took photos of bridges and things like that. Maps, desperate requests, and last words. Even blood samples were carried through the skies by these birds, some of whom were decorated for their courage. Today, the troops roosting around the museum are trotted out for shows. The doves are used in ceremonies. But although swifter methods of communication have replaced them for now, the military hasn't written off carrier pigeons entirely. Should they become necessary again, civilian owners all over the country know their birds could be called up to active duty. When they become licensed owners, we teach them that if there's an electromagnetic war, if our telecommunications no longer work, they'll be expected to loan us their carrier pigeons. It would be a loan. We wouldn't take them, but we'd use them to communicate. Until then, these birds can enjoy their heroic roots and a birdseed snack in relative peace.